Coin going to touch this. Craney! Celtic are ahead! It's Jerry Craney in the sixth minute of the match. It's the perfect start for Celtic. Craney gets his tenth goal of the season, but he owes this to Tommy Coyne, who got that good head flick, allowing Craney to get there ahead of Nisbet and Lee Woods with Aaron Athley. Absolutely a brilliant goal by Craney. A brilliant leap by Tommy Coyne under pressure from Richard Goff, but Craney's made a run just off shot there and fired an unstoppable volley into the bottom corner. That's well struck and deflected! 2-0 to Celtic! Darius Dubček takes the credit with the help of a deflection that's been to come off Terry Harlock. Bad love here at Celtic Park. 37 minutes of the first half gone. 2-0 to Celtic. And here's the effort from Darius Dubček, thundering the ball forward. That appeared to come off Terry Harlock, and once again, Chris Woods had no chance of stopping that. It was a thumping strike by Dubček. I think uh, Chris Woods probably had it covered, and the deflection just, a wicked deflection, just took it out of the reach of Chris Woods. Tommy Craig out of the dugout with some instructions from the Celtic players. Hayfley is onside. That's for Halstra, a great chance here for Rangers. Well, he appeared to touch the ball with his right foot before he let fly with the left. That's what made the shot look so bad. Now, Ian Ferguson lining up this free kick. He has tremendous power in his right boot. Charged down by Grant, and Grant is now in there, very serious trouble. He's being ordered off. Peter Grant is ordered off for charging the free kick too early. Paul McStay protesting vehemently to the referee. But it's Peter Grant who will take no further part in the match. The second ordering off of the season, he was ordered off against Hibbs on the 5th of January. We'll see how this happened. It came from the free kick, which Ian Ferguson went to take. There's Grant number four on the edge of the wall. He's already off his mark. And there is the breach of the rules, which has resulted in the early departure for Grant. Elliot will not be denied in the air for Celtic. And there's a backlash by Hullock. Hullock's in trouble. He's clearly going to be on and off. There can be no other outcome. He lashed out there after the ball had gone. And Terry Harlock looking there. It's the right hand pocket. It's a red card for Terry Harlock. The victim was Tommy Coyne. An act of complete folly by Harlock. Right in front of the referee's eyes. And Terry Harlock makes the long, lonely walk to the dressing room. Going past the Rangers dugout there. Walter Smith gazes out without making any reference to Harlock. So here was Harlock. The challenge came in from Coyne. Harlock didn't appreciate it. And then you'll see him lashing out there with the right arm. That's why he was on and off. And really, I think the referee had no option at all. Anton Rogan clutching his face. Mark Cately was in the vicinity, and the linesman George Kerr is now explaining to referee Waddle what happened. Now, Mark Cately has already been booked. Richard Goff is across, so is Paul Elliott. Rogan is going to be booked for his part, but it looks as though Mark Cately 
is going to be ordered off. If he's called across at all, and if he's involved, he can only be shown one colour of card. He's been called back by Andrew Waddle, so it's a booking. Is it, or is it a red card for both? A yellow it is for Rogan, and it's a red for Hayley. The long walk for Mark Hayley. He lost his head without question as the game wore on. And the inevitable result is an early bar for the England international. It has been by no means a classic football occasion, although Celtic went about the task in the first half extremely well with a committed, fast approach, which won the game in the end. There's the final whistle. Celtic are the winners by two goals to nil. Jerry Craney in six minutes. That is Dubček in 37.